All right, Shalom. 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 We're the Hebrew Israelites. We come in another Saturday, man, for a camp to uh, prophesy the downfall of America and also exhort the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Before we get started, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Calm Down. We want to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. All right? So, hey, man, we're going to get straight into the scriptures. Uh, give me John uh, chapter 15. You know, because I was just, you know, speaking to the brothers off camera. You know, me and this brother, we visit him from, from Atlanta. And we come down here in Savannah, man. It's the same story. You know, Jake and I want the truth. You know, the brother was saying how Jake walked by and don't even inquire about the sign or what y'all what are doing. But if we was doing something um, that was of the world, you know, they would inquire. You know, they would stop and want to know uh, uh, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But since we're not of the world, we stick out like a soul thong. When people walk by, they may want to ask questions, but they don't. Because, hey, we, we look, hey, to tell you the truth, we look funny to people, man. Look what we got on. You know, it's a nice, beautiful Saturday. We got the ward over here. We got boats. We got bars behind us. Like, what y'all doing, man? Y'all don't want to, you know, partake. But we're not of this world, man. We're here physically. But mentally, we've checked out, man. Like it says in Micah 2 and 10, yeah. you know, we've arised and departed because this is not our rest. We know that there's something bigger at stake that we have, so we do the work, man. You know, yeah, we do, uh, you know, things that are, are carnal, but, hey, this is first priority, man, you know, because we're in the chains of darkness, and we know our righteousness is as 50 rags, but, hey, man, we make an attempt, man, and that's way more than the average Joe Schmo is doing. He's not even... He's not even considering that his power, okay? So uh, we got John started around uh, verse 18. About this, this is John chapter 15, verse 18. If the world hates you, ye know they hated me before it hated you. Yeah, and the world hates us, man. Believe it or not, they might not say it, but I know they, they thinking it like, man, what's wrong with these guys, man? You know? And, and another sign of, of hate is you not even coming uh, and wanting to wake your people up, man. You know, that's a sign of hate. You know, we're out here out of love, yep. out of compassion for our people, because we see them headed for destruction, and we want to turn them back, man, to their power, and tell them where they're going off. You know, we're out here blowing the trumpet, showing our yep. people their transgression, you know, uh, uh, showing our people their sins and where they're going off, but they, they, they don't regard, man. The Lord stretched forth his hand, and no man regarded, like it says in Proverbs, you know? And, 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 and the world hates us, man, because it hated Yahweh Shai when he was on the earth for the miracles and, and the workers that he was doing. His, his disciples, his apostles, all of them were hated, man, by the common man. You know, they didn't want to, the, the, the mass majority of the people didn't want to receive him, man, because they wasn't of the world. Keep going up. Verse 19, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah, and we was just talking, if we was out here on some nigga shit, they would love us. You know, how many, oh, y'all, y'all, y'all record y'all on YouTube, you get in there, you know, but, and they see these Bibles in our hands, they see the 12 tribe signs, America's gonna be destroyed, if they even look down at it, and they keep it pushing, goddamn, because this is, this is something that the world, uh, uh don't condone, they want America to go on for forever, you know, they think this is the end all be all, and that it can't get any better, but we're here to tell you, man, and it gets better, man, you know, the scriptures, it's, it's life and peace, man. To be carnally minded is death. And that's all you people are headed for. Keep that up. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you. But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Yeah, we've been chosen out of the world, you know, and, to, and, and, and been separated, which is to be holy, from these everyday uh, peons, man. You know, we got fucking shrimp. Crab and lobster restaurants lined up all around this motherfucker. But we won't be partaking in it, man, because the Lord has chosen us out of that type of lifestyle. Because it tells us in Leviticus, I believe it's the 11th chapter, you know, in the dietary laws, that we're not supposed to eat those type of things, man. And we're supposed to refrain from them. And that's not just because uh, the Lord is the Lord and He won't, you know, He don't want us to uh, partake in it. It's for a reason, man. We was just speaking to how our people have got all kind of goddamn health issues. It's because what they consume, they want to, you know, uh, fit in, you know, 
world, these women glorify eating a fucking lobster, man. And that's fucking crustacean, man. Just like eating a big ass roach. But our people are so simple and, and, and go along with whatever the majority goes along with and, and, and push that, man. But we're here to tell you, man, to turn away from that, you know, and, and come in, and come into the knowledge of the scripture. But our people don't want to hear that. You know, y'all, they, they look at us as, as if we the ones bugged out when it's really them. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, some more uh, but you got to you got Okay, this is, uh, Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 19. My bowels, my bowels, I am pain at, at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Yeah, hey, so, a lot of yeah, hey, that's what we're doing, man. We're going out and we're signing crime for the abominations that uh, are done into this place. And also the coming destruction, man. We're telling you that America is going to be destroyed by thermal nuclear fire. You know, the chip is the mark of the beast. You know, uh, there's going to be uh, mass uh, famines and pestilence. These people think coronavirus is something. The Lord, hey man, that shit is gonna be like a cakewalk when they see what uh, uh, the Lord has prepared for this place because there's so much evil and, and, and wickedness going on, man. You know, iniquities, iniquity, a part of iniquity that done reach into the heavens of this place, man. It can't go on anymore like this, you know? Because if it does, the, the Lord owes Sodom and Gomorrah apology. And we already know that's not gonna happen because the Lord is, is a man of his word, man. And if that place were destroyed, uh, what more America? Keep going. It says, suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. Mm -hmm. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Mm -hmm. For my people is foolish. Yep. They have not known me. Yep. They are saddest children mm -hmm. and they have none understanding. Yeah, so how long do we have to come out here, man, and tell you the same thing over and over every fucking Saturday? Before you people wake up. But we all know that some that are just slated for death in the first place. This thing is not for everybody, man. You know? The, the Lord is not saving the whole nation this time, man. And like he did in, in the time of history. This time it's gonna be a select few, man. And we're telling the ones that it's for uh to wake up, you know, and, and the Lord uses uh the comparisons uh to us coming out and, and lifting up our voice uh to a trumpet, man. So the trumpet is being blown. So how long do we have to blow this trumpet before you motherfuckers strap the boots up and get ready, man? You know, or, or turn back, all right? But we all know it's, it's the workings of the Lord. So however long we got to come out here and do it, man, hey, we're going to do it. That's right, you know? So we can't no more. And it's going to be a time when we can't no more, man, you know? And we're, and we're desperately waiting on that, man. Because we're tired of our people got them going astray and, and, and misusing the prophets, looking at us like we're crazy. We waiting on that big I told you so moment, man. Ooh. And when that shit come, you know how you know how it's a feeling that you've been telling somebody over and over or something and then it finally can happen. Like, yeah, I told you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and we waiting on that minute. We waiting on that moment, man. I feel good. Yeah. You know? Go ahead, It says, they are wise to do evil, oh, man. but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah. Jake can tell you how to whip up a brick, break down ground to a teeth. That nigga can eyeball a seven, all that shit, man. <laughs> but when it comes to the uh, the words of the Lord, this, this nigga probably only know Psalm the 23rd chapter, man. And don't even have the full understanding of that. John 3.16. Don't even have the full understanding of that. Hey, but when it comes to some, some worldly shit, hey, we got that down to a T, man. Our people are foolish, they're sodders, man. Stupid. But when it comes to getting their hand into some mischief, Oh, a nigga gonna break that down to a science, man, you know? But when it comes to the words and, and, and the scriptures, which causes discipline, and for you to refrain from certain things that you love to do, oh, a nigga can't do that. Nah, oh, man, I gotta do what? I can't go get lined up no more? Uh, I, yeah, well, I can't, go ahead. You had that, uh, that video of Boosie, and he was like, I can't eat pork. What? <laughs> I can't eat pork. You know, he uh, uh shoo shoo the Lord. Yeah, I'm talking about some uh, shoot, shoot, God. Oh, you know, hey, that that that's Jake for you though, man. Hard head, yeah. you know.
That nigga Boosie is a quintessential nigga, man. Yeah. Next to a nigga, he, his face needs to be right there, bro. Yeah. Cause yeah. some of the shit that come out his mouth, bro, it's like, I'm surprised the Lord ain't killed that nigga right there on the spot. Yeah, he's preserving him. Yeah. Hey, he got yeah, yeah. Preserving his ass. Preserving that nigga uh, for the worst death possible. He yep. probably don't let that nigga live through some shit. Mm -hmm. So where he gonna, oh, he gonna have to call on the Lord in that thing. You know, and the Lord ain't gonna hear that nigga, man. Because right. he's been blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. And that's a and, and that's a sin that's unforgivable. Yep. Anything, any other crime you can commit except for blasphemy, man. Ain't no coming back from that. That's a sin worthy of death, man. Pull some more on that out. John chapter 15, verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Yeah, we ain't no better than the Lord, man. We're not even close. So if they did that to our Lord and Savior, why should we expect anything less, man? All right? They crucified our Lord and the Savior, even though he was innocent. And say, hey man, let the blood be on upon our heads, man, and our generation. You know, that's some wicked ass shit. So if they did that to Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, we ain't nobody, man, compared right. compared to Yahweh Shai, man. We're just humble and faithful servants, man, hoping and, and having faith that we'll be saved out of the atrocity that's coming to this place. At the end of the day, we ain't really nobody, man. We're the mouthpiece for the Lord, and a mouthpiece ain't shit. You play in sports, you go through hella mouthpieces. They, they're they're exposable, man. When you get ready, you, man, you'll forget a mouthpiece. That's that's how that goes to show you in comparison and how low we are, man. You know, we we not really shit. So imagine what they'll do to us, man. If they did that to our Lord and Savior. How they despised him when he was only uh, coming to uh, to save the nation. And it wasn't everybody. Let's get that straight. It was only for the nation of Israel, and those. <laughs> and those of our own fucking countrymen, those are our own people, were the ones that were uh, wanting to crucify them. The heathens then found, the heathen, uh, uh, forgot which king it was. Uh, uh, so like he was escaping, but he was a heathen. He was like, man, I found his wife had a dream, and he wanted. Uh, I don't think it was a, but anyway, uh, it didn't come back to me, but. Hey, his wife was like, hey, man, hey, I see no wrong in these guys. Right. You know, let them alone. Right. And, and, hey, the king agreed. But the wicked people of our nation said, hey, man, hey, hang on. We'd rather have Barnabas. You know? Uh, 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 con, 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 yo. Yo. Hey, um, the water, bro. So, hey, man, we ain't nothing. You know? So we should expect these type of things, man. Go ahead. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they would keep yours also. Yeah. Hey, and, and hey, man, if, if, if we're set forth to be persecuted, we got to know what we signed up for, man. And that's why Jay can't really, really get down with it. He hears the scripture like that. Oh, I got to be persecuted for the Lord? I got to be hated? Hell no, nah, bro. I'm popular. I don't really like being hated, bro. You know? Hey, and it's a saying, hey, really, what is that song, it's famous couple years ago, you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Right. You niggas ain't popping. Right. Don't nobody hate y'all niggas. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. We being hated for your house by shit, your shot, man. And if I'm going to be hated for anything, I, hey, I'd rather it be that. Then the nigga hate on me because I got some J's on my feet or a couple of thousand dollars in my pocket. Niggas is simple, man. Those verse 21. Nah, verse 21. Go ahead, uh. John 15 and 21. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Yeah, they don't know the name in which we're coming in. If we was coming in the name of Christianity, we'd have people walking by high-fiving us, right. asking for prayer, yeah. uh, donate, right. all type of shit. But uh, giving tired, but we're coming in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and these people don't know. That's, that's something foreign to them, man, you know? But we're doing the workings of him that sent us, man. That's why we come out on Saturdays and do our videos throughout the week, man. You know, because we're coming uh, uh, in the stand or in the likeness of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shine, man. All right? And the people can't deal with that because it's, 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 it's foreign to them. It's, it's uncomfortable yep. to, for them to 
uh, uh, unlearn Christianity and come into the true knowledge, man. To drop the name Jesus and call and call upon your Howard Shot. To get that image of a white Jesus. Uh, but get that image out your head, man. And, and, and dive into the nitty gritty of what the Lord really looks like, man. We're coming in that spirit, all right? And in doing that, people are going to... Uh, of course they're going to look at you funny you know when you go into a place uh where you look different from everybody yeah hey this this guy here man hey that's blasphemy man we're not coming in the spirit of this so the people don't know man we're coming in a uh, more accurate depiction is right here man it's dark woolly hair as it's described in revelation you know keep going on number 21 before i start John, John 17 and 14 I have given them thy word and the world hated them mm -hmm. because they are not of the world yeah. even as I am not of the world I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world mm -hmm. but thou shouldest keep them from the evil right. mm -hmm. they are not of the world even as I am not of the world Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. That's right. You want to elaborate uh, on Hey, and that's ultimately why we get the loops that we get. Motherfuckers don't even want to walk past the camera, man, because this looks so strange. We're not of the world. You know? If we was out here fucking gospel robes and, and gowns and shit, you know, singing kumbaya, gospel music playing, fucking Marvin Sapp, fucking uh, Donnie McClurkin. <laughs> Hey man, we may have a crowd. They yeah. may even not go and, and, and do the things in which they really came down here to do. They will stop here first, man. Right. But hey, by us not being of the world and we're out here doing the work and taking how by sitting outside, they do not even consider what we're going, what, what we're doing. And we're not worried about the eaters. They can keep walking because they come up here and inquire. We're going to deal with them through the spirit, and if right. the spirit reveals that you're an Edomite, and hey, you're going to get to judgment, man. And you're going to, and, and we're going to come out of the scriptures and tell you what's going to happen to the nation of Edom according to the scriptures. Now, if you're an Israelite, you know, and the spirit bear witness, we're going to uh, uh, steer you in the right direction, man. And whatever you take from it and do with it is on is, is on you, man. You know, we're going to plant that seed, and we're ultimately, like I said, we're going to be in Ezekiel uh, uh, 33. Uh, go ahead. Uh. Now, this is, uh, what's that, this is Ezekiel chapter 33. Now, back, start up a little bit again, jump down there, go to the watch. Okay. Hey, because if you are an Israelite, we're going to tell you, uh, we're also going to tell your judgment too, if you don't get right. But ultimately, we're going to tell you that salvation is for the nation of Israel and no other nation. We're going to tell you uh, uh, to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord to the best of your ability. You know, we're going to tell you to uh, uh, stop being so carnal. All right? We're going to uh, plant the seed and wash our hands of the blood. And once we've done that, we've done our job, man. And you take it how you will. This is Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 7. So thou, son of man, I have set thee a watchman mm -hmm. unto the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Yeah, and that goes back to us blowing the trumpet. We're sending out the warning, man. We've been sent up, Lord, whether we are those men by your house, by your house, to watch over our nation, man, until the Lord comes back to redeem us. All right? We, we like got them substitute teachers at the time, man. Right. You know? And then when the Lord comes back, he's, he's the ultimate big brother, man. You know, he's the ultimate shepherd to the sheep that we're just uh, overseeing. You know what I'm saying? So it's our job to come out here and tell the people where they're going off and wash our hands of their blood. So if you're an Israelite and you walk past the camp, that's what we're going to do, man. Keep going off. When I say to the, unto the wicked, O oh, wicked man, Thou shalt surely die. <laughs> and when we tell you that, go ahead. If thou 
does not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. That makes us wicked, man. If we know the truth and hoard it and don't tell you, you know, that's 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 wicked, man. And we'll be put to death on according to the scripture. And that's what keeps us motivated, man. We know we got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Hey, cause we we not out here to teach our damn selves. Man. You know, we are here for the people. You know, we could say, oh, I got the word and fuck y'all in the y'all give it on y'all own. But that's not a sign of love. That's not a sign of compassion. You know, that's 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 um, uh, putting that uh, putting your talent uh, in a napkin, so you know, yeah. no, yeah, putting that counter cool. under the under the under the uh, under the bed. All right. Ephesians three and nineteen, and to know the love of your house, mm -hmm. which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all fullness of the Most High. All right. Ephesians 3 and 19, and to know the love of Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. which passeth knowledge, mm -hmm. that ye might be filled with all the fullness of the Most High. Yeah, and to know the Lord and His love, man. And we're coming out here in love because we're sharing the knowledge right. of Yahweh by Shah, you know? So that's, a, that's an act of love, you know? all right? And compassion. For us to have this word and take it home and just teach our family and, you know, teach the As it tells you in uh, Romans 11 and 7, you know, our people are, are searching for their knowledge, but the election have obtained it, man. So with us uh, have, having obtained the goodness uh, of the scriptures and, and the truth, it's up to us to share it, man. You know, it, that's that's like you uh, figuring out how to make a million dollars in a day, and you just go home and you don't tell the brothers nothing. Like we want to see our people on the chariot, man. You know, but we know ultimately it ain't gonna be everybody. That's why we out here fishing for the elect. We ain't be going out. It says, verse eight. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Mm. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked man of his way yeah. to turn from it, <laughs> if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. He shall what? He shall die in his iniquity. Hey, it's on you, bro. We told you. We gave you. Uh, we set you in the right path. We told you X, Y, and Z. If you take it and don't do anything with it, hey, then that's your ass, man. It's yeah. on you. Because what you do from the point of learning the knowledge, uh, what you do from that point forward, man, is very detrimental, you know? Because you can't say you ain't know, you know? Because hey, those that don't know are, are not going to be held to the standard that you are. You're going to get a more grievous death, man, by right. you just hearing the truth mm -hmm. and not doing nothing with it, man. Right. If I may say, you know, back in, the, uh, back in those in the days of the prophet, they would tell them, they would see the seers and say, hey, don't don't say anything to us. You know, because they wanted to keep going in there, Nick. They said to the seers, see not. You know, hey, don't don't have those visions. Don't tell us anything. We don't want to know. Because then we're going to be held accountable. They, like like it said in uh, John 15, they would have no cloak for their sins. Right. You know? And that's why our people say, oh, only the Lord can judge us. You know, only the Lord can judge us. Because they want to continue to do their thing. They don't want to be held accountable for the things that they're doing. That's why they, but the scripture tell you, hey, a righteous man judges all things, but he himself is judging no man. I'm paraphrasing. So yeah, you can be judged. You see you going the fuck off, we're going to tell you. Because our people don't want you. And then putting that goddamn cigarette down, man. You know, really 
Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thy but thou hast said thou hast delivered thy soul. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and pine away in them. How should we then live? Yeah, and the key point of that, it says to the nation of Israel, man, you can't, the, 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 the law, statutes, and commandments were given to the nation of Israel in the first place. So you can't sin and transgress something that hasn't been given to you. So let's deal with that straight up, man. It's for the nation of Israel, man. Not all, not all people. Okay? So come on. Uh, say unto them, as I live, Say of Yahweh, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what we want. Because it says, I read 2 Timothy 3 and 9. You're going to go down here. Oh, you need that last part. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his way and live. Yeah, because the Lord ultimately wants to see you do right, man. The Lord ain't taking pleasure in destroying the wicked, uh, in the wicked, but he know it has to happen, you know, because you can't uh, uh, mix darkness with light. So one of the two got to go, and it's going to be the wicked. Hey, you, you best believe that, all right? This is uh, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah, and that's what the Lord ultimately wants to see, man. His people repent and come out of the sins that, that, they're, uh, that they're partaking in. He, he's not taking pleasure in putting the wicked to death. He'd rather see men repent and come back into him and live holistically, man. But our people don't want to do that because it's too much for them, man. You know? say the angels rejoice in the Oh, yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Hey, that's what, that's what good description. And he says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And what is his promise, man? That a hundred, uh, forty-four thousand is going to be saved. Two-thirds going to be put to death. Right. You know? Hey, it may seem that it's tearing. Hey, but wait for it. Yeah. The Lord's going to cash in on this, on, on, on this bet, man, that he put out here. He's going to cash and take the whole pot, you know, because, because he, he's, the, uh, he's the Alpha, he's the Omega, man. You know? The Lord ain't, ain't going to lie. He's a man of his word. And if it's in the scriptures, man, and, and it will come to pass. This is Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Yeah, and our people are broken hearted, man. You know? And if you're coming in the right contrite spirit, then the word is for you, man. But you ultimately have to be meek in order to receive this. Because if you're coming in a, in a, in a, uh, in a sense of being proud, then you ain't going to receive the words of your Havashim you have to You have to be meek and humble in order to receive these words. Because it, it Scripts also say uh, the meek shall inherit the kingdom. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's going to be hard hey, for a prideful man. I mean, I ain't even going to say hard. It's impossible to, to please the Lord, man, and be proud. You know, because, and, and that's another thing, bro. We see our people in such a lower state and, and, and broken down. We want to tell them that, hey, man, it's, it's light at the end of the tunnel. We want to tell our people, man, that 
the grass is greener on the other side. You know, just do it this way, man, and, and see. Don't the Lord have something in store for you? You know, but we tell you, you're going to have to suffer first. You're going to have to do this first. You're going to have to come out and you're going to have to confess the name of your house by your name. All of these things you're going to have to do in order, in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, but our people, hey, they want it now. Yeah. You know, they they they, they yeah. living in the in, in the moment. Yeah. If they ain't seeing benefits right then and now, I people get get fucking disenchanted. Right. You know, like the boards, <laughs> the boards. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. A nigga yeah. don't see they return uh, in two days. Yeah. The motherfuckers, where my money? Yeah. Well, I'm on the board. No like, faith, guys. Bro, it's like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna he ain't gonna see rewards from the investment exactly. going the next day. Uh, and right. that's how our people are, man. Yeah. That's the majority of our people. You saying I gotta, I gotta uh, stop shaving my beard. You say I gotta stop eating pork. You say I gotta, you know, do all these things. And then I get salvation. Hell no, I ain't trying to do that, bro. Really, I'm really just trying to run the sack up and right. you know, gotta get some holes. Yeah, and, and, and and I don't know when he coming. Yeah. Hell no. And and y'all ain't got no specific date, so I can try to hurry up before he come and do right. it. Yeah. So I may be doing this for 20, 30 years. Man, hell no, bro. <laughs> I ain't trying to do that. I'm trying to get, you know, get salvation tomorrow. Right. And, and Jake rather uh, beg Esau, man. He rather uh, march in the streets and beg Esau for equality, you know, than, than actually wait upon the Lord, man. Right. You know, to raise you up for the prey, man. Right. You know? Yeah. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord in the day of vengeance of our power to cover all of that more. Cause they see, hey man, my granddad been saying that for, for the last 30 years too, right? And nothing really happened, you know? But hey, we're, we're in the times, man, where this shit happening that our people ain't even seen, man. Dang. And that's why they ask some questions now. They like, hold on, bro. Right. Y'all are starting to make sense now, man. Right. Right now. Right. What'd you say the name was? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I already told you two years ago. You don't remember, bro? Go to YouTube. Yeah. Cause I ain't got time to be dealing with niggas like that. Right? People, now, people ain't seen lockdown. Yeah. In the day, see the sports get locked down. Yeah. Bro. People fucking what social media get blocked. Yeah. They ain't, our people ain't seen that. They ain't seen the economy collapse. They seen it fall, yeah. but they ain't seen it collapse. It's collapsing right now. Uh -huh. They ain't seen what them evictions. Uh -huh. They ain't seen that shit, oh, man. Well, they well, day none like it, man. Uh -huh. The scriptures say a day none like it. You can't compare these times to before, man. Jake starting to uh, get uncomfortable now. Yeah. He don't know what's going on. Yep. He can't figure out the Lord in his room. Yeah, cut that unemployment. Oh, oh man. man. Jake hurt. They lowered that motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, Jake finna be hurt, man. Yeah. Right. And when you hit motherfuckers like that, then they start to want to inquire. Ooh. But when everything, all peace and cream got down, nigga don't want to hear nothing about the Lord. Yeah. Don't want to hear nothing about the scriptures. Yeah. You know, I just want to do me, bro. You know, but now that they see it, that some of these things are coming to pass, I don't know if you still got this. Hey, but hey, then they're gonna know, man, yeah. that the things that we were out here uh, professing on a hot ass Saturday and, and, and what you consider dresses, when that shit start to come to pass, hey, then you're gonna know, man. Read that. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Hey, and when these things come to pass, and what are these things? Missiles, yep. shifts, yep. famines, yep. pestilence, deaths, yep. murders, yep. nation rise against nation. World War III. Yep. yep. All the things that we speak of in Matthew uh, uh, 2024, 20, man. Yep. When all of that shit come to pass, lo, it will come. Then you will know that a prophet had been among them. But by, by that time, it's gonna to be too late. Yeah. Your ass gonna be in the concentration camp by then. Go ahead, Bob. First Thessalonians 5, and I'm gonna start in 1. Mm -hmm. But of the times and the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Yep. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Hey, we know perfectly that the day of the Lord gonna come as a thief in the night. So we're not gonna be caught goddamn slipping. We're going to stay on our shit, man, uh, Lord willing. Uh -huh. We're going to stay on our P's and Q's. 
and continue to do the things in which we were commanded to do. So when that thief do come in, we're going to be sitting there waiting, you know, right. and prepared. Yeah. But you guys that are, uh, uh, that are into folly, because you know folly is said in great dignity, man. But the rich sit in low places. That's why we don't got people inquiring, man. Because we're rich in the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is most important, you know. But carnally, we look like, what they do? Bomber lights and all that crazy yep. shit, you know. So, hey, man, we'll see. We're prepared for that thief, man. But are you? Nah, he gonna catch you slipping and steal everything you got and put your ass to death, man. Keep going, man. Right. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. But when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Yeah, hey, the city's done open back up. They done moved on to phase two, almost in phase three. You know, so they're, they're saying, oh man, we getting back to somewhat normality, man. So we should be good. The Lord is just, you know, shaking us up. He was taking us through some trials and tribulations. Because, you know, people love to say that, especially Christians. Yeah, the Lord took me something. I was on the ventilator from the coronavirus, but I'm saved. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you ain't saved yet, goddamn, until you see shit going on out here that you ain't never seen before, man. Then you gonna, the Lord just setting your ass up for the, uh, for the okie doke. You, you done said peace and safety, you off the ventilator, you back at home, right. around your kids and shit. Hey, keep reading though, huh? Alright. First Thessalonians 5, I'm gonna start back at the top, of 3. Yep. But when they shall say peace and safety, we say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction come upon them. A nuclear missile, goddamn. Uh, as surveil, oh, nice. uh, go ahead, bro. As surveil upon a woman with child. Yeah. And they will, shall not escape. Yeah, and if you know about uh, uh, anything about childbirth, when a woman water breaks, that comes without warning. You know, you could be out shopping, you could be out uh, uh, at a movie or what have you, and when that thing breaks, it's breaking. Ain't no turning back, man. From that point on, you go into labor. And that's how it's gonna be when the Lord comes back, man. Without warning. You people gonna be on your day to day. Peace and safety. You feel me? You're on the way to get a goddamn bottom, bottomless marmosa. You on the way to get a couple of uh, margaritas. You know? The next thing you know, goddamn, you gonna see goddamn <laughs> some shit you ain't never seen before in this town, man. And then, hey, from there, hey, it's all downhill for the wicked. So you better get right. And that's ultimately what we come out to do, man. Teach repentance. It's still a chance, man. And if you telling somebody in, with, with any kind of uh, mindset or any kind of knowledge that they got time to get right before this shit actually happen, they're going to use their time wisely. But you tell that to a fool, he's going to continue in his foolishness, man. And that's what separates the two, man. Because the Lord has just slayed his son for death, man. And those that are blinded, are just blind, man. They just uh, 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 stumble, man, for the fight. Yep. They're like fuel for the fire. You know how your fire dying down, you gotta throw a fucking yep. branch in there yep. and get it back up? Yep. That's you motherfuckers, man. Yep. That just cannot adhere to the word. That was it on the Yeah, that's, well, I got a little bit more. Go ahead, please. First Thessalonians 5 and 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Yeah, yeah, we're not in darkness, man. Because we're, wa we're watching for the signs that the Lord said were going to happen uh, before it's coming. So if you're on a, like we were saying earlier, if you're in a watch in a state of mind, you see the things that are, are taking place and you're preparing yourself, man. You're not caught off guard. Only those that get caught off guard are those that's fucking around. You know, motherfucker get beat deep because you're watching the ball, goddamn. You ain't being, you ain't being circumspect. Right. Let's they know that bitch to the house. You know, yeah. but if you watching, man, you seeing everything, you watching the quarterback eyes, he ain't gonna catch you slipping, man. And that's the same thing with this truth, man. We watching, bro. Go ahead, man. This is the uh, Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, If thou wouldest get a friend, mm -hmm. prove him first. Right. Be not hasty to credit him. Mm -hmm. With some men is a friend in his own occasion, yeah. and will not abide in the day of. In the, in the day of thy trouble. And like the brother was saying, you know, some of y'all been chilling, you know? When it's all good, you know, y'all didn't want to call on the Lord in those days, you know? But but now we're in the day of trouble, you know? The Lord wanted to prove that you was a friend, you know? In, in your time of trouble, you ain't gonna be able to call on him, man. 
You know, because you was chilling and, and you had a chance to call on him and you did it. You know? This is Luke, chapter 6, verse 24. But woe unto you did a rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you did a fool, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Nick Cannon. Yeah. You know, all these other, other all the other celebrities, yeah. these pastors in these churches, yeah. you know, they fool, man. They've been eating on earth, man. We've been, uh, like you said, we, we've been sitting in a low place, man. You know? But now these people want to uh, uh, act like they calling on the name of the Lord, you know, act, acting like they like they got the truth, you know? But you don't, man. Because what he said, he said you receive your consolation, man. Exactly. This is our exactly. consolation right here, man. You know, this truth is our consolation in these times, man. And, and it's an even bigger consolation waiting on us, man. Ooh. Hey, and this consolation that we receive far exceeds any carnal thing that you can get on this side, man. Because riches profitable to nothing in the day of wrath. Right. Motherfuckers in all these expensive uh, homes and cars and got jury, that shit's gonna be tossed to the side when you got them facing UN troops. You know, that shit ain't really gonna mean nothing when you got, uh, when your stomach touches your back because you ain't ate in a couple days. Uh, exactly. You gonna eat that gold and silver? Right. You gonna eat that goddamn car? Hey, but if you're doing the, if you're doing the things in which you were commanded to, you know, like we are, and Lord willing, we're those men, we're going to eat in that thing. The Lord said, his servant shall eat while you hunger. The Lord says, his servant shall uh, 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 shall drink while you thirst, man. Right. All right? And we wholeheartedly believe that. So that's why, yeah, go ahead and get your little riches and your consolation and, and laugh now. Because you're going to cry later, as the scriptures yeah. say, man. You know? But, I, hey, I would want this consolation over there. Uh, anytime, man. Yeah. This is true riches. Because this is something that can't be stripped away from you. The scriptures tell you that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding shall be the stability of your time. Not money, hold, cars, and clothes. Right. You know? It don't say that, man. Yeah. Niggas got that. They still tripping right yeah. now. <laughs> Niggas ain't stable at all. Niggas is unstable. Bugged out. Like, nigga got mental health issues, but he got a goddamn 2020 challenges. <laughs> and, and seeing a shrink on the weekend, because right. nigga bugged out. You know? We may not have those kind of things. Hey, we're, we're living uh, comfortably. You know, we got a roof over our head, we got food, we get our daily bread. Content. Yeah, we content. But ultimately, we got this, man, that can't be stripped away from you and, like, all this kind of shit. Yeah? So we got this is uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 20. Now withstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And in that hour, Yahweh shall rejoice the spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Yeah, and that's what and that's what the that's why the bro was mentioned, you know, that this this truth is, is a treasure, man. To understand prophecy, man, to understand what's going on, to understand really truly reality, man. You know, to understand the truth of, of every matter. You know, it's, it's a it's a blessing, man. Because people, these people out here, man, they don't know what the hell is going on. They don't know that America about to be destroyed. They don't understand that the, the market of beasts on the way. They don't know that chip is coming. They don't know concentration camps being set up. They don't know meat shortages. They don't know shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's a blessing to know the truth. Because you're gonna be you're gonna be stable right now. It, hey, people people out here living their faith, living their faith best life, but they're really bugging out mentally, man. You know, but we keep we're stable. We like, all right, bet we almost there, bro. We almost there, bro. Salvation nearer than what we believe. You know? Look up for your redemption is not, man. Hey, uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which have come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. 
And that's what I was going into, man. Hey, we trying to hold fast to this knowledge with some understanding. We're not being like these people in the world, man. You know, we trying to push toward that mark, man. Because we see the end, man. We see the, hey, we see the glory of Yahweh Shah about to come back, man. And we about to be eyewitnesses. Lord willing, we those people to be carried up on those chariots, man. Because that's what it's about. It's about that reward, man. Fighting for that, fighting to hold on to that crown, man. Not being like the people of this world, man. You know, going every day in this darkness, man. Walking in these dead states. Not giving a damn, man. You got hundreds of people just passing by. Not one person stopped to ask a question, man. And you got brothers standing on the corner with Bibles in their hand in a hundred degree weather, man. You know, that should make you stop and think, like, what the hell is going on, man? What these people are doing out here, man? You know? They may think they might be on to something. They ain't willing huh. to stand out here like that. Right. Hey man, you brother must know something that I don't know. I might want to ask a couple huh. questions. And then write for me to buy the truth. At least don't even get that option. Right. At least hear us out. And yeah. then if you think you can talk with shit, you know, you do what right. you will. Yeah. But you don't even have that opportunity. So the doors have been shut from the beginning. You don't even have it's not even a 50-50 chance for more folks that they don't ask questions. You know? Because you walk by and you ask a question, some may strike, man, some may snap. And you're like, damn, they might be on or something. Yeah, yeah, they might be on or something. That sounds about right. Well, that's why you white man the devil. All right. every shot you don't take. Exactly. You know? That's, that's very true. You got them, got them zero percent. Right. Yeah. Oh, zero for zero, got them. Right, yep, yep. You know? Uh, and we bring the gospel out, man. We bring the gospel out to you black, Native American, Hispanics, man. You know, hey, there's nobody standing up for you. There's nobody telling you, hey, it's a power coming back fighting for you. There's some somebody give a damn about you, man. Esau ain't gonna tell you, man. Esau wants to uh, put his foot on you, nigga, and keep you there, man. He trying to let you come up, man, because he know when he come up, you um, um when, when you come up, he go down, man. You know, so he not trying to lose his kingdom, man. He fighting tooth and nail to hold on to this ragged, raggedy, wicked kingdom, man. You know, like the Oxfam is smelling like shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. Right. Piss in every corner, man. And these people come down here on River Street to check it out, man. Yeah. 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 Check out some abominations. Huh. Right? Huh. When you got righteousness right in the midst of it. Huh. And they got blindfolds on. They see everything, everything else outside this. It's like we don't even, we don't even hear it. But hey, we ain't mad at y'all motherfuckers, keep walking. Cause like we were saying earlier, man, we got the truth. Uh, we out here to teach you motherfuckers the truth. Uh, Whether you hear it for a bear. Right. You know? Yep. You had more. Oh no, that was good. Bring that out. This is Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. There is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, you may seem the way that you may seem that you'll get your salvation may seem right unto you by calling on Jesus Christ so on and so forth. But the ways thereof is death, man. Keep going now. Even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. Yeah. And the end of that mirth is heaviness. Yeah, so once you people get done doing whatever you're doing, right. you know, and mirth with you, at the end of the day, it's going to end in, in, in sorrow, man. Because once this shit runs out once America uh, uh, last leg is broken and this motherfucker fall, you gonna be back to being sorrowful, man. That's why the people were bugging out when they was on lockdown. Oh, we gotta, you know, protesting and shit. Yep. They don't wanna wear masks and they don't wanna be mandated, you know, because they weren't able to get into their murk. They were feeling very sorrowful. But when that's a permanent thing, you know, these people are gonna be even more bugged out. You know, when the day when you can't see a simple ass woman walk through the grass with a scooter, Ooh. when she can get on the motherfucker and ride it, uh. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit like that, man. This place gotta be gotta be destroyed, man. For simplicity and, and, and people just going about mirth and don't and they be making sense of it. You want a you want a fucking scooter, bro? Ride it. Why, why the fuck is you walking through the grass? You don't even know how to do folly correct. This place got to go, man. Go ahead, y'all. This is uh, Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, and there's a lot of guys that do that, too. They hear the truth, but they do uh, I get it right before the Lord come back right now. You know, he's still working on me. Like, nigga, he's working on me. 
demons working on your ass to keep keep you further and further, you know, in the darkness. Hey man, once you hear this word, hey man, you should snap out of that shit and, and come into it, man. You know, not man, I do it tomorrow. Y'all brothers gonna be out there next Saturday? Alright, I'll be out there then. I right, 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 man, bring your ass down here right now right. and get the truth, man. Because next Saturday ain't promised. Yeah. We, your brother read that the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. I think the thief gonna tell you, hey, man, next Saturday I'm gonna come. So, <laughs> you know, I'm being there, I'm breaking and steal all your shit. You're gonna be sitting there waiting on his ass with that thing, you know? But that ain't how the Lord getting down. So while you tearing and, and putting things off, hey man, you might wanna get it right now while you have time. That's what a grace period is for, you know? People think grace is just a time to do whatever the hell you want to do. When you get, uh, when you're in a in a grace period, that's time to to, to get right, man. you know, and, and put all your ducks in the row, you know, uh, uh, cross all your T's and dot all your I's. That's the goddamn time that we're living in, man. Not in the time of folly and, 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 and wickedness, man. This is Zaphaniah chapter 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desire. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought, which have wrought his judgment, Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be here in the day of the Lord's anger. Yeah, hey, and that scripture said a mouthful, man. You know, because ultimately, and the key word I want to point out here is meekness. Pride is the reason why you guys can't really fall in line. Pride is the reason why you guys can't see the chip in the market of beasts. Pride is why you can't see America being destroyed. That's right. Because you're proud Americans. Because you think that the guys that look low and, and are wearing uh, fringes can't tell you anything, man. But hey, the day of the Lord is, is, is coming, man. And it's gonna be something that like no no people have seen before, man, upon the face of the earth. You know? And when it comes, a lot of people are gonna be caught off guard because they rather walk on River Street and see water instead of getting right with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in the security of thou, thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, and security represents a place of safety and comfort. You know, when that shit is rock, hey man, it's going to. I can't wait, man, because I, I, I get tired of these, these people walking past the looking like you do for the uh, side show or something. Yeah. When this shit comes, yeah, like respect. But when these things come to pass, man, it's going to be a big I told you so moment, man. Right. You know, right. you think the Lord is, is playing with you people? Right. The Lord is not playing. So keep on uh, uh, tearing to come to the Lord. And I'm not talking to you white people. I'm going to say that. Because you may look white people. You know, red. Right. red, you know, we got some of our people that may look like we don't know the nation. We're talking to the nation of Edom, man. Salvation is not for you. It's only for the nation of Israel. Right. I ain't seen, well, the few Jakes we did see that look like Jake. They got down, make a beeline, cross the, the lawn. They don't even want <laughs> this, man. They don't want no dealings, boy. None. Motherfuckers don't even come with them goddamn. I know we social distance, but damn niggas. You know, they walk the path, they don't even come this way, they walk through the grass. Esau walks straight through yeah, the camera. Esau proud as fuck. He walked through the camera. <laughs> yeah. He want his judgment. Fuck that. <laughs> Let me be marked. <laughs> niggas are goddamn scurrying. Because they know it's something about, you know, when they yeah, see, they, they know it's something about, they see uh, young so called black men out here with Bible that it's some up, and if they walk past, it, we may tear into the head. But we ain't gonna really engage these people unless they have questions, man. Exactly. You know, we ain't finna tell you. We know you niggas going up here to get some crap. We know you niggas finna go got down and find somebody woman and try to, you know, do your thing. We already know. 
because we've been in that state of, of, of being sleep before. We've done those things, man. But we're here to tell you people that that ain't the right way to go. That it's a bigger picture. And by doing it this way, you can ultimately see, uh, receive everlasting life, man. Right. Instead of this, this right now shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Right now. Yeah, that right now. Nigga living in the moment. Yeah, YOLO. Wait on my moment. Nigga's like Drake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all it is. We wait on our moment too, but it's going to be goddamn. It's going to far exceed what the yeah. fuck you people waiting on. Y'all niggas waiting on the next stimulus check to roll around. I mean, we gonna take that motherfucker. Don't get it wrong, but hey, that ain't where our heart is right now. Exactly. Our heart is to do the work of your house by sitting outside. Right. Hey, that's why the scripture say, use the word on abuse the word. Like you said, we gonna take it, but we don't really care about it, man. Yeah, we don't study that shit. We don't need that shit to pay this all little bitch ass bills. You know, but that shit ain't perfect. <laughs> right. Some brothers ain't got that shit, but hey, we still got this. Right. Hey. We still out here. That shit didn't deter us from coming out preaching the gospel. I got a preach, Y'all want to go down? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, mm -hmm. yet shall not thy teacher be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, walk ye in it, why you turn to the right hand and why you turn to the left. Yeah, and yeah, you know, this is this really prophecy being fulfilled right now. You know, these people seeing the prophets on the, on the highways and byways in each city across the four corners of the earth. This prophecy being fulfilled right now, man. But these people don't know what the hell is going on. But as the brother just mentioned, hey, verse 21 said, this is the way, walk ye in it, man. Following the, follow the Lord, man. Following the laws, statutes, commandments, coming under order, being humble, you know. Doing the right things to what receive salvation, man, to be delivered from the, from the destruction to come, man. You know. This is Isaiah chapter fifty-five, and verse six. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wit let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him. They say, seek the Lord while he may be found. So what does that mean? There's going to be a day where he can't be found. Right? And when the prophets are going to be removed from the streets of teaching the word. And that's where you have something called the famine of the word. In Amos. You know, you hear it up in the cut. So it's going to be a day, man, where the Lord's word is not going to be found. And it's going to be searched for. You know? So, hey, man, get it while the getting is good. Right. You got the prophets at your disposal, man, to ask questions and see what's going on. And you really got the goddamn cheat. You really got a cheat code. You know, we got the answers to, to the test. And you niggas walking past, you're going to try to cram at the end of the day. That's Jake. <laughs> yeah, that's Jake. That's Jake. Last minute. Last minute. We out here, we got the, the, the answers, man. Niggas, from, from the first question to the last, man. You know, we, we don't know the whole uh, inner workings of the Lord. It says we know in part and we prophesy in part. But the, the, the answers that we do have to the test is what we need. That's, that's all we need. This is enough to pass, God now. I'm going to say that. Yeah. We got the answers enough to pass. But you just want to keep walking past the answer key and go cram at the last minute when you see a missile. Oh, Lord, please. Oh. Should have got right. Why the getting was good? That's when five verses took no oil, man. Mm -hmm. You know they gonna try to cram at the last minute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, borrow somebody else's oil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think you should have came out the house and told you. <laughs> hey, and that's how that's gonna be the big I told you so, man. Now we was out there, we stood on the country every Saturday, man, for an hour. All niggas went with us shooting in the jail. <laughs> hey, and whatever the Lord do to you, from that point on, hey, it's on you. We got the blood off our hands, as we read in. Uh, 33rd chapter. Read that chapter. Uh, That's a Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, you got to call upon him too. Hey, the name is important. Because who you going to call in that day? You going to call Jesus? And you going to see too much happen. I'm just going to tell you right now. Right. You know, that's why the name is important. But he's 
Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. <laughs> and let him return unto Yahweh. Yeah, that's all we telling you, man. Stop doing the bullshit. Turn back to the ways. Call upon the Lord. Is that too much to ask for? And I'm speaking facetiously because, yeah, that's too much to ask for for a nigga. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, he will abundantly pardon. Mm -hmm. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah, thus saith the Lord. Hey, and this, hey, that's pretty simple, man. Your people got to get right and repent. That's to sum everything up. So, mm -hmm. right, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really too much that the Lord require of you. When you really look down, uh, when you really look at it, the Lord says this is our reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And the brother from my camp, Costa Paul, he'd love to go into that. Something that is reasonable, you can agree to. It's not grievous unto you. Right. Now, all this shit Esau actually do is unreasonable. He asked you to give him 40 hours a week, and he gonna pay you in two weeks. <laughs> That's unreasonable, bro. Oh, man. But niggas will do that and yeah. take oh, his shit man. off the top. Yeah. <laughs> That's unreasonable, bro. That's off, bro. The we Lord, yeah, bro. All the Lord action for is to come to him, call upon him, teach our people uh, yeah. where they're going off, keep the laws to the best of your ability, and that's it. That's it, bro. But you niggas will go, go work 40, 50 hours, and Esau don't pay you until two weeks, bro. That's unreasonable. But you don't see nothing wrong with that. He saw how you pay taxes all year, mm -hmm. and you get evicted from your house. You can't even use your taxes. Right. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, they putting people out of their homes that been paying taxes for twenty years right. on the right. house. Oh, man. No right. mercy. No, no right. mercy, man. Right. And then, that's unrighteous, man. Yeah, but the way Jake think, he saw the only for what you do, long as check go in there too. Right. That's all. You should be paid for your daily bread. Right. In the scriptures, when a man did work, he was paid right then and there. You shouldn't have to wait two weeks for a paycheck. That's not according to the scriptures, but this place claimed to be uh, built off biblical principles. Right. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 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 So Rob, 18 and 20. Before judgment, examine thyself. In the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Mm -hmm. you no, know, hey, and that's what, hey, that's what we doing, man. We examine ourselves, man. We, hey, we in our everyday walk, man. We paying attention to our surroundings, man. Paying attention to how we conducting ourselves, man. But we want to make it on one of those chairs at the end of the day, man. We're not trying to be out here like these people, man. We're trying to be a, hey, um, be found um in, in a good place with your house, watching your mouth shot. So, hey, these people gonna be judged at uh, Harvey, man. You gonna have wild animals tearing them up, man. You gonna have people dying of the family, you know? You're not gonna get a chance to get to see your kids because people gonna be trying to eat them, man. You know? That's what it's coming to, man. And these people out here, they don't even care, man. That's why um, the brother, I think the brother read earlier, through the terms of the Lord, we persuade men. Hey, we out here for trying to persuade, let you know what's coming down the pipe. And all you do is walk by, man. You had two um, Jakes walk by, didn't even um, glance at the sign, man. You know, and walk right in front of the camera. Okay. But uh, hey, that's our people though, man. They are hard headed and still hard man. You know? Hey, because like you said, when we came into this truth, man, you know, when you start uh, really getting into these precepts, it's a double-edged sword. Nah. Like you said, we examine ourselves too, man. It, hey, because when you swing your sword, it's going to cut you too, man. You know, it'll make you reform your ways, man. You know? Psalms chapter 98 verse 2 the Lord hath made known his salvation his righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen he hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power you know hey now if I can quickly expound you know hey we see we're seeking like the brothers mentioned it we're seeking mercy from you how about you all shot the Kassad in Hebrew, you know, we're seeking that mercy from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and it's gonna be and it's gonna be sold into the all the entire earth, man, even upon the heathen, 
you know, and they're gonna know that our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, did this very, did these very, these very same judgments, man, and deliver His people. The world, the whole world's gonna know that, man. It says every eye shall see. All right, Yahusha is on the way back, man, pretty soon. All right. chapter 98 verse 2 the Lord have made the Lord have made known his salvation his righteousness have he openly showed in the sight of the heathen he have remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power mm -hmm. you know and that's hey the world gonna see it man that's why hey, the bros mentioned earlier hey that big as I told you so it's about to happen man it's about to happen. A prophet had been. It's gonna be no, made known to you. Like damn, bro. He was in the same. He was in. The, he was in the same job with me. Now he going up on the chariot, man. You know, he's in, he's my brother. You know, one one of a family, two of his city. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, it's gonna be a select few that receive the mercy from Yahweh by shot, man. That's why we say, Lord willing. You no, know, Lord willing, we're those men. You know, the hopeful elect, man. They're the predestined to receive salvation from Yahweh by Shemayahu shot. Hey, hey, and before we uh, reach that point too, hey, the Lord is going to put upon his men uh, 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 the ability to work miracles, man, and to and to ultimately heal. And when we start doing that, man, hey, that's that's how the name of the Lord is going to be uh, uh, put on the forefront, man, through the workings uh, of his men, man. And we've seen it with the apostles and the disciples, you know, and, you know, our open temple with how they treated them. You know, so what more us but hey once we get those uh that's another thing to look forward to man hey spiritual powers man we're we gonna be doing things that these people have never seen before and like the brother gonna say him the same guy worked the job with me this guy you know hey yeah us okay right here this is uh acts chapter 14 and verse 9 the same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voice, saying in the speech of Lysonia, the gods are come are come down to us in the likeness of men. Yeah. Hey, once they seen Paul raise a, a, a crippled man up and he walked, they said, hey, the, the, the gods have come down, man, in the likeness of men. Alright? And that's the that's the ultimate, not the ultimate, but that's uh the direction in which you know the, the truth is gonna shift into, man. You know, once the Lord puts the spirit on us to start doing these different miracles. And, and, and healing our people, you know, a lot of our people are gonna wake up to that too. But in the time that the apostles and Yahweh Shai was doing it, our people would see that and still got them uh, top shit and question whether Yahweh Shai came in the, in the in the stead of of the Most High and claimed uh, and really wanted to question whether he was a man of the Lord, you know. And that's how it's going to be in, in these times that we're coming in too, man. When we heal people and, and fucking put a thousand to flight, people are like, damn, man. The Lord really working with me, man. Because they were once low. Those were the same guys who used to walk past, man, thinking that there was something wrong with them, you know? But yeah, hey, we got to go. This is 
Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Hey, uh, we these watchmen sat upon the wall, man. Hey, we not holding our peace, man. Hey, we out here on the forefront, man, in the trenches. Not caring about what nobody got to say, man. And we, hey, we out here for our people, man. We out here for that 144,000 and that um one third. That's it, man. We don't care about two thirds of our people. We don't care about these other nations, man. Because this word is only for them, man. Right. You know. Uh, I'm gonna start at the top. I have set watchmen upon the walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silent. And that's what we doing, man. We making mention of Yahweh by Shimei our shot, man. And we keeping not silent, man. Hey, we gonna exalt those names to the fullest, man. Hey, like the ox said earlier, man, we gonna make sure that everybody had heard this truth, man. That's why the scriptures say, man, when the word is preached around the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come. Ooh. Hey, we pushing toward that, man. Hey, we don't give a damn about anything but that, man. That's that tunnel vision, that I've been right. seeing. Verse seven. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that's what we're looking for, man. We're looking for to be established, being a praise in the earth, man. Hey, we trying to be in that glorified state again, being those giants on the earth, man. Like it told you in our uh, Genesis, man. We're trying to go back to those times, man, being those gods on the planet, man. You know, and it's going to happen, man, because the word has been written, man. It, it's already been put out there. All we got to do is wait and, and be patient. You know, that's why I say this is the faith and the patience of the saints, man. Ooh. You know, we, hey, we being faithful, man. We just holding on, man. Because we know the end of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He has a stopping point, man. And the Heavenly Father is going to hold fast to his promise. Verse 8. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no longer give them thy corn to be meat for thine enemy. So Esau ain't gonna get uh, get those riches and that glory no more, man. The, hey, the Israelites are about to be glorified, man. The Heavenly Father is about to beautify his people, man. You know, he already pure, beautified us by giving us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. That's those beautiful garments that we already put on. And thy sons of the strangers, and the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine, for which for the which thou hast labored, but they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise Yahweh, and they that have brought it together shall drink it, and in the course of my holiness. And that's what we doing, man. Hey, we glorifying Yahweh by Shiva Shah, man, because he gave, like I said earlier, he gave this unto babes, man. You know, and we, hey, and we, and we, 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 and we thank you, man. The water Yahweh by Shiva Shah, man, because we could have been out here lost, man, sleep. Walking around like here, like these zombies, man. You know, not knowing anything. But look at us now, man. We came out of all different types of environments, man. Brothers was out here selling drugs. Brothers was doing drugs. Brothers was out here trying to break into VIP. You know, now everybody trying to study, man, and, and get this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, being built up and rooted, man. You know, because we know about these times that are coming. This is gonna be worse than anything you ever seen before. So you, you should be out here wanting to get this knowledge with them understanding, man. You got brothers all around the four corners of the earth exalting the name of your house by Shemiah was shot, man. You know, that should wake you up. That should make you think, like, what these brothers got going on, man. You know? Go ahead, go ahead. Now. Go ahead, go ahead now. It says, go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of, of the people. And that's what we doing. We preparing the way. Just like John the Baptist prepared the way, man. We preparing the way, man. We, hey, we making ready for the coming of the Al-Bashim al man. He's only begotten son to crack those clouds. That's what we doing, man. Cast up. Cast up the highway. Gather out the stones. Lift up a standard for the people. Behold, Yahweh have no, have proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Hey, see, hey, he said his hey, your salvation is coming. That's why the brother said earlier, that salvation draws now. Look up, man. Because we know we at the end now, man. We push it and, and we know that Yahweh Bashiva is about to make his great return, man. And hey, we being that standard for the people, man. When they see us out here speaking in righteousness, not acting like all oh, a nigga. 
you know, coming out here talking about um, um, kingly things, man. You know, talking about King David, King Solomon, going into the apostles and the um, the prophets, man. You know, these, this is this is a um, this is a beautiful thing right here, man. Brothers coming together with Bibles in their hands. People can't understand it, man. They lost, they confused. You know, that's why they still in that darkness, man, because they have been given this light. Man. I got one more. Verse 12, and they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of Yahweh, and thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Run, the holy people, man. Hey, that, when you call that word holy, it means set apart, man. You set apart from all these other people upon the planet, man. You know, hey, we that, that, that chosen city, man. Yasha Allah, he prince of God, man. That, hey, and that's, hey, that's a title that you should want, man. You shouldn't want to be like the rest of these heathens, man. Walking around here, hey, the, the lowest man on the totem pole ruling over you, man. You know? Hey, we should be glad to be um, sons of, of the power, man. You know, you should be, hey, you should come out here, man, with, hey, with, with bells on. You know? It's uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. Do if thou wisdom cry and understand and put forth her voice. She stand up in the top of the high places by the way in the places of paths. She craved at the gates at the entry of the city. Hey, and we right here in the path, man. Everybody got to walk through, man. Everybody see us out here, man. We in that high place, man, exalting our voice. You know, letting the people see the um the, the men of your how about shot out here, man. You know, in the hotter, in the heat of the day, man, giving you this word, giving you this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, letting you know your nationality, black, Native American, or Spanish. This for you, man. We hey, we give you the gospel, man. This is the good news. Letting you know that hey, it's it's a time this time is for you, man. You ain't got to come out here and mark and scoff, man. Come out here and listen, pay attention, man. Soak this in, man. You know. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming, at the coming in the, and at the doors. Unto you, O oh men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. You see, hey, so this thing is for the men, man. This thing is not for you, uh, women, to be out here like in the, uh, in the, in the church house, man. The black woman, she is exalting her voice all the time, jumping around and screaming, man. We're talking about she got the Holy Ghost. This is not for her, man. This is for you men, man. You supposed to be out here on the forefront, man, making your bodies a living sacrifice, man. You know, like the brother said um, earlier, man, that's your reasonable service, man. This is what you should be doing for your how about you shot, man. This is the best job on the planet. You know, and you're gonna get paid uh, way, way, way beyond your beliefs, man. You know, riches beyond belief, women beyond belief, palaces, you know, walking on streets made of gold, man. You know, chariots, hey, you gonna have your own chariot, man. You're gonna be the, the, the people that everybody wanna be, man. Not no damn LeBron James, not no fucking Floyd Mayweather, man. You know, hey, they ain't gonna be able to touch what you're gonna have, man. They're gonna be the lowest Israelites in the kingdom. Nobody. Everlasting shame. Everlasting shame, man. Knowing they, hey, they had their chance to turn their back on those riches, man. Turn their back on everything that Babylon had to offer, man. That's why the scriptures say, if any man love the world or the things of the world, then the love of the Father is not in them, man. You know? So the love of the Father is not in those people, man. So we don't go to pay them any attention, man. We look into the apostles and the elders, man. A practically great millstone. But that's where the truth is at. You know? This uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and mo the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Hey, that's it right there, man. Hey, no more pain, no more crime, man. Death being wiped away. That's why I say, oh, death, where's our steam, man? Because you ain't got to worry about death anymore, man. You ain't got to worry about, hey, your, your children being taken away and um, being organ harvested. You don't have to care about that, man. You don't have to care about something called pedophile island, man. You know? Hey, and if people walking around uh, act like they don't give a damn about the uh, Roman Catholic Church, um, 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 sleep, sleeping with little boys, man. You know, but you have something to say about men coming out here trying to wake up their nation, man. Coming out here standing up for their people, man. You know? This is 2 Peter. Second uh, Peter chapter 3 and verse 13. It says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein righteousness dwelleth. 
Yeah, man. We looking for a new heaven and a new earth, man. With righteousness well, man. And we're going to be known as the, the city of righteousness, man. You know? Hey, that, and that's beautiful, man. Because there's some of our people walking around here, man. We look at them like, man, ain't no way in the world this person right here is going to be righteous, man. But, hey, that show you the power of your how about shooting out a shot, man. Because, hey, he can turn that man around and he can be out here on the highways and byways, man. Yeah, you know? This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 2 and verse 10. Thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh, unto Ezra, tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacles, which I have prepared for them. They shall have God, hey, the Lord may have prepared for us, man. Like the brother said earlier, man, nobody else but Israel, man. So, hey, a heathen can't come into this, man. Those, hey, those fake Jews over there on, in the land of Israel, man, this ain't for them, man. You know, hey, they had their they little moment to deceive the world, you know, act like they the chosen people. Now, hey, the true men are standing up, man. The true men of the Abashim Al-Sha is coming out here letting you know that, hey, those people are fake, man. They're phony, fraud, man. That's how you know we're in the end. Huh, huh, you. Verse 12, it says, They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savor. They shall neither labor nor be weary. Go, and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Beautiful, man. Hey, because guess what? The kingdom is already prepared for us, man. So all we doing is praying that your how about Shema Shah hasten the day, man. Hurry up and put this devil into flight, man. Go ahead and have him in derision, man. We tired of this damn beast being over us, man. This damn cave dwellers, man. Hey, it's time for the true people to stand up, man. You know, it's time for us to be in the armed ruler seat, man. Cause look what this devil done to the earth, man. The air is polluted. The water is um, contaminated and filthy, man. You know. Hey, the water over here is brown, man. You know, the water's supposed to be crystal clear, man. Because you take all the, the shrimp, crab, and the lobsters out, man, to clean the earth, man. You know? So now you have to look at the water, man, looking filthy, man, looking like mud. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll bring you this is Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath appointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. And that's what we doing, man. Hey, we proclaiming liberty to the captives, man. How you captive, man? You captive in your mind, man, because you, hey, you don't have no knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. You don't know who you are as a people, man. You lost, confused, man. And we out here to bring you out of that confused state, man. Let you know that, hey, your power name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, that's that's gonna be big in these times to come. How you gonna be able to pray if you don't have a name? You know? Hey, that name is gonna be important for us to make it through all these coming calamities. Hey, good. This Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Uh, man. Hey, where there is no vision, man. Hey, but we got vision, man. Hey, we see the kingdom, man. We see your shot coming back on that chariot, man. Big, hey, big, hey, big enough to block the sun, man. We see all these things coming to pass, man. We see the um the earth being destroyed, man. You know, but these other people they have no vision, man. Hey, that's why they gonna perish from the way, man. Because they had a chance to come out here and get this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. They had their chance to come out here and listen to the prophets out here speaking, man. You know? Hey, it's not hard to um, come out here and stop and listen, man. Ask a question, you know? But they can't do that, man. Because they, hey, they think they, um, that people that look like them can't teach them anything, man. You know? This is, uh, Luke, chapter 21, verse, um, verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth not. 
Con, your redemption draw him now, man. Look up, man. Hey, because there's going to be chariots all over the sky now, man. Hey, because we at the end now, man. Hey, just pay attention to the sky, man. Hey, you'd be surprised what, um, how many chariots you would see up there, you know? Hey, and it's a beautiful, it's beautiful, man. Because, hey, we, and back before, we didn't even know what chariots was, man. You know? We thought it was a little green men flying around, man. You know? Hey, hey um, what it is, the, um, the, the, the alien station, man, that they always bring on TV, um, UFOs. Yeah, Area 51, man. We actually thought it was UFOs in there, man. But that's why he saw being a devil at, man. He probably got some little boy over there damn bending him over, man. You know? Ain't nothing going on over there, man, in Area 51. Hey, this is where it's at right here, man, because we can explain to you what those, those um, chariots are, man. Thanks. Through the scriptures, man. Thanks. You know? And various, various, um, 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 books, man. Yup. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Uh, you mentioned, uh, our people really... You know, uh, not listening because they see men like them, you know, and they, they figure, hey, you just another nigga like them. What can you tell me about the Lord? What what kind of advice can you give me on salvation? Uh, nigga, you work the same job I work. Nigga, we live in the same community, you know. Yeah. And the reason why is uh, uh, this is uh, Surat 13 and 22. It says, when a rich man, uh, verse 23, when a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. They extol it to the cloud. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? Uh, and if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Uh, hey, and, that, and we the poor people, man. Hey, nobody's stopping here, we got to say. But hey, when you got uh, Nick Cannon up there talking about his life, everybody stopped to listen, man. Everybody exalted to the cloud, man. You got Ice Cube come out here and say something about his life. Everybody is all into the clouds, man. But they not sought up to be teachers, man. The yeah. Heavenly Father is not dealing with them, man. He's dealing with the true men of the how about you was shot, man. Those are the ones that really got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Because the Heavenly Father is not trying to really get a great multitude of people to come in, man. Right. This is a small sanctuary, man. You know? Yeah. And if I can add to, I, the scriptures say, um, uh, it, it is, um, uh, roughly paraphrasing, it's um, impossible for a rich man to inherit the kingdom. You know, it's, it's easier for the camel to go through an eye of a needle. Uh, uh. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, which the needle is talking about a straight and narrow passage, uh -huh. you know, within an uh, 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 area or a mountain, or so to speak. So it says it's easier for a camel to squeeze through that, bro, uh -huh. than a rich man to, to, um, to inherit the kingdom of heaven. And then knowing that, why would you listen to a rich man when he's telling you about the scripture? He can't even get it for the kingdom of heaven uh -huh. himself. So some should click in these people's head like, hey man, maybe the low and the meek and the humble, they have the answer. Yeah. But our people don't have no understanding, man. And the elites of Esau, they know that. They know everything that has been fed to our people uh, as being the truth from the scriptures is what's keeping them down. You know, plantation Christianity. They cultivated the, the minds of our people to believe that this is the white man's book. They cultivated them to believe in that this servants obey your masters is talking about yeah. uh, uh, niggas in slavery, right. you know, and you should do whatever the government say. Right. You know what I'm saying? They totally uh, 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 misconstrued the, the words of the Heavenly Father into using it as a weapon against our people. And the rich that are set up that may come out and say, like Brother Mitchell, Nick Cannon, and uh, D Jack from the Eagles, all of me, or well, but those type of people, they don't have the answers, man. They're just doing that to play. The Lord is doing that to set them up to have that fall on the ear of the person that was meant to hear the truth. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's just a seed being planted. Because the scripture tells you can't do nothing against the truth, only for the truth. Yeah. So that's all that was. Nah, and like you said, hey. 10,000 a year, man, but the Lord will only say 10 of them, exactly. man. You know? Exactly. And that's how it works, man. You know? I got a piece of it. It's a little short piece of Proverbs 17 and 4. A wicked doer giving heed to, to false lips, and a liar giving ear to a naughty tongue. You know? So a lot of people, uh, a lot of our people are just evil, man. That's why they believe in, 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 in the past. You know? That's why, that's why they give ear to other wicked individuals. Right. You know? Hey, like 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 the brother had brought out at first, uh, John 15. 
You know, if we were of the world, the world would love us. You know, if we were speaking to them lies, you know, if we were uh, preaching that prosperity, we, they would love it right now, man. They would love to hear everything is going to be okay. But we're not coming in that stand, man. That's why they hate us, man. You know? This is uh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. You know, and quickly going to that uh, the word chosen, you know, uh, going into the Greek, at G51588, eclectos, man. It's, it's really about the elect, man. You know, many are called, a lot of people know they're Hebrew Israelites. Hey, but a lot of people not doing shit, man. A lot of people not sincerely coming on the order under the prophets, not seeking the, the, the entirety, the truth in its entirety, you know. But it's all it's all about the elect, man. If you're not part of that elect or that, that peaceful multitude of, of sincere believers, man, you're, you're going to die, man. You're not going to make it. You know, and that, should put, that should put fear into you, bro. You should be, you should be wanting to put more effort, you know, to, to uh, seek mercy from your house, from your house, before it, before it's coming, man. You know, or in the midst of it's coming. You know, but it's all about the elect, man. It's about being chosen. People, Israelites think it's uh, it's cool and it's a trend just to be called, man. Yeah, it's all, it's all cool and dandy right now, man. But it's all, it's all about who's gonna make it through that fire. You know. Uh, yeah, about the end game. Yeah, uh, exactly. A lot of people have come into this thing and know that they use it like, but what are they doing with it? Are they, are they uh, uh, fighting to the end? Are they like those that build and weren't able to finish? Ooh. That is speaks uh -huh. of uh, in John, uh -huh. the 14th chapter. Which one are you, man? A lot of people uh, hear the words and make them feel good and, you know, they get, uh, uh, what's the word? They get like overzealous over it. And then over time, right that shit wear and tear on them. A lot of words that knowledge fuck the fuck, man. Yep. No. Yeah. So you gotta be in it for the long haul, man. This is a marathon. This ain't no race. Uh, no really trying to got down. Nah, man, it ain't about that. Uh, this is uh Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Hey, so two, hey, two parts of you, Jake, gonna be cut off and die, man. Two thirds of you, Jake, got to go, man. You know, hey, because like the uh, um, brother was saying, man, hey, we we extended down all our friends, man. We out here, you know, in, in the sun, man. Let you know that, hey, this is it right here, man. You got your chance, man. Hey, kiss the sun unless you be angry, man. You know, and guess what? You you don't want to come and listen, man. You don't want to stop, take your time, hey, and take some notes, man. You know, go back home, study. You know, like the Church of Berea, man. Go home, hey, listen to what we said. Hey, go home and study, man. Check it out. Prove what's wrong, man. You know, then come back with your question, your 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 rebuttal, man. You know, but hey, our people ain't gonna do that, man. They wanna walk by, hey, hey, holding hands like they 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 in La La Land, man. You know? Go ahead, you keep on going. Man. It says, but the third part shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Hey, and that big thing is say, they shall call on my name. You know, but hey, a lot of Israelites can't say you don't have a name, man. How you gonna call upon the Lord's name in these times, man? You know, that's how I call, we know we got the name, man, through faith, man. We believe that that name is true, man. You know, and nobody gonna put us back in darkness and tell us to call upon Christ, man. That's foolishness, man. You know, hey, Christ ain't did nothing for our people, man, but kept them in darkness, man. You know, hey, brother's been wake, um, waking up all around the four corners of the earth, man. That show you that that name got power, man. That show you that that name is spiritual. You know? Yeah. This uh Revelation chapter 22, verse 6. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord power of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keep the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Beautiful, man. Hey, he said, behold, I come quickly, man. Hey, we keeping the sands and the prophecies of this book, man. And we coming out here passing it to you, man. Tell you that, the, uh, hey, the America's going to be destroyed, man. Hey, telling you that, hey, there's a famine coming. There's an RFID market chip, which is called the market of peace. Don't take it, man. Martial law. law coming, man. Concentration camps. Let you know that, hey, these things are side up, man. Hey, and they, they just coming down the pipe, man. Hey, just pay attention, man. Listen. 
But hey, our people, they hard head, man. They can't take that, that, that rebuke, man. You know, they can't be, um, um, get, um, get that pride out of their life, man. You know, so they're gonna be destroyed, man. That's why I say pride goes before destruction, yeah. man. You know? Yeah, so I This is going to where you're saying uh, Jesus called himself uh, uh, Israelites, man. Uh, yeah. This is uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 27. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, Seek him ten times more. Hey, seek him ten times more, man. Hey, and that's what he say. In the land of their captivity, they shall remember me and call upon my name, man. Hey, we in the land of our captivity, man. And we call upon your heart while she never shot, man. Crying unto the Lord, man. That's why I tell you in Ezekiel 9 and 4, man. We say, um, for those that sign and cry for all the abomination done in the midst of them, man. Hey, we sign and cry, man. Telling the Lord, hey, man, please come back and um, bring the devil back down to that low state, man. Please come and take him out of rulership, man. Set um, Israel back up in their high state again, man. You know? Even on um, the Israelites back in the day, man, in the ancient world, man. Hey, they was asking Yahusha, man, hey, at this time will you um, um, put, um, um, put um, a restore um, Israel? You know? And that's what we waiting on, man. We waiting to be restored, man. We waiting to be back in where we supposed to be, man. You know? So this place can flourish, man. It can turn back into that Adon again, man, in paradise. Yeah, absolutely. You know? This is uh, Isaiah 54, verse 7. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, says the Lord, thy Ooh. Redeemer. Uh, hey, for a small moment, hey, for a little while he hid his face, man. Hey, but these times, man, he's turning back to that love to us, man. You know, giving us everything that we need to be able to make it through these tough times, man, to get that salvation. Hey, these people don't have that, man. Hey, but the true men of the Lord, man, hey, we'll be caught, we'll be built up in these prophecies, man, built up in this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. That's why they say, um, the truth that sets you free, man. Hey, we free, man. We free in our minds, man. We're not in that captive state. Uh, which is most important. Uh, 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 and, and that's why that scripture said, uh, it was that mind. You uh, know, it said it was that mind to go out, man. Uh, the same thing is going to get you back on that path, man. Renewing of your, the renewing of your mind, man. You know? That's why the scripture, um, Isaiah 33 and 6, knowledge and wisdom to be the stability of our times, man. Hey, that, hey, that's what we're going to be immersed in these scriptures, man. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. That's the only way you're going to be able to get out of these coming calamities, man. You know? Having every all the tools necessary, man, to get out of here. You know? This is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Like Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the most high they, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto, unto the most high with your reasonable service and be not conformed, conformed to this world but, ye be, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may be proved that, that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. And this that good and, and perfect will of the most high, man. Hey, making your bodies a living sacrifice, man. Being out here every Saturday, man. Rain, sleet, or snow, man. Out here, man. Putting in that work, man. Not caring about the um the things of this world, man. Putting those things off to the side, man. This is the first priority right here, man. Do a hey, pleasing your how about your mama shot, man. And bring it in those fruits, man. You know? Hey, we trying to hey, we trying to bring in as many brothers as we can, man. We know it's only gonna be a small, uh, a small elect um limbo, but hey, we still gonna do that work, man. You know, that's why the um the words say a hey, prophesy to the wind, man, whether they heal, whether they forbear, man. You know, it don't matter, hey, it don't matter if everybody stops and listen, man. If one person stop and listen, that'll be enough for the day, man. You know? Hebrews chapter 6 verse 9 but beloved we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation though we thus speak for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which he have showed towards his name and that he have ministered to the saints and do minister uh, 
Uh, hey, the Lord is not gonna forget your labor of love, man. Hey, that 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 that, that um work that you're putting in, man. Doing your videos, paying attention to the the, pop, the apostles and the elders, man. Hey, being studious, man. You know, hey, taking notes, man. Going to your classes, man. Hey, studying the Hebrew. Hey, the heavenly Father see that, man. You know, hey, that's a sweet smell going up to him, man. He see his good faithful servant down here doing that work, man. He see him down here paying attention to what's going on in the world, man. So he can have that chance to get out of this, man. You know, and, hey, and, and that's what all the brothers in the, in, in the um. In the, in the camp all around the four corners of the earth are doing, man. That's that one mind, one, one body, one spirit, man. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. God, show that same diligence. And like I said earlier, man, all the brothers around the four corners of the earth doing the same thing, showing that diligence, man, all the way to the end. That's why I say, um, the same that endures should be um should be saved, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll be paraphrasing, man. You know? Hey, and that's what we doing, man. Hey, we showing that diligence, man. You know? That's what that's what that's that's what this thing is about, man. Not giving up, man, not sitting on the sides, hey, letting another brother do all the work, man. You know? Because you got um some camps to do that, man. But not in GMS, man. Everybody picking up that um that work, man. Yeah. Picking up that workload, man, going in and doing it. Say work out your own salvation. Yeah. 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 chapter 4 and verse 17. It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh a far more exceedingly and eternal way of glory. Uh, hey, that light affliction is but for a moment, man. Hey, so it don't matter what you're going through here um, in your walk, man. You know, because that's a brother going through something, man. You know, hey, you just got to put that to the side, man, and keep pressing forward, man, because at the end of the day, man, you know your how shy, your how about you not shy, is not a man that you should lie, man. You know, hey, if you say you're not going to forget your labor of love, you're not going to forget it, man. Exactly. You know, you're going to hold it. Yeah, hey, I'd rather bet on that than goddamn taking you some word. Uh -huh. Then he say he's going to do something for me. Because all this nigga history is, is great job and murder yeah, and yeah, yeah. The history yeah. of the Lord is all, all faith and healing and, and miracles, man. Right. So yeah. I would believe on that before and be patient and deal with what I got to deal with, you know, uh, for his name's sake, than a fucking Edomite. Which we living in his kingdom and his society, you know, so we have to render unto Caesar what is Caesar. Man. We do, you know, and, 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 and be a citizen, so to speak. But we not putting all our eggs in that basket, man. You know, we putting all our eggs in your house by shot basket. Because you know, we know that egg, that, that basket ain't gonna fall and break the eggs, man. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's just a stable ass basket. And that's why they also the scriptures say, I've never seen anybody, uh, a man forsaken that trusted in the Lord, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a rock towards yeah, him. Yeah. Anyone that called upon his name or, yeah. or trusted in the Lord, has he forsaken them? Yeah. I've read the scriptures, you know. Yeah. I haven't seen that one account, yeah. but, yeah. you know, where the Lord is saying, that, fuck right. you, Daniel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go into the lion's den and let him devour you. Yeah. Right. Shad, Shad, Rack, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, Joe, none of them. None right. of those brothers, man, that I seen the Lord abandon him, and they stayed faithful and true to him. Right. Now the ones that did uh, get dealt with because they was going to fuck off, yeah, you know. You know? Exactly. And, and, if, and if people doubt those uh, biblical accounts, that's just a lack on your faith, man. They don't have nothing to do with our faith, man. If the unbelief don't uh, don't Romans believe, three yeah, Romans three and three, man. If they don't believe, it don't affect our faith, man. It is what it is, you know, because people people come off as. They, they talk shit and they mock and snuff at the Hebrew Israelites as we're supposed to be shocked, you know, or 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 dis, or discouraged, disenchanted, right. disenchanted discouraged in our faith, man. No, we got we have the scriptures to comfort us, man. As the brothers been speaking about, man, we got the body, the scriptures. You got ultimately you got Yahweh man. Yep. You know, and and the scriptures also tell you that uh, the things that are written aforetime yep. were written for our learning. So these things that we're bringing out is not because we want to sound good out here. Because ain't nobody even listening anyway, you know, but the word is going out. You know, brothers may see it on the internet, but we read these things so we can build our faith. 
to keep doing and keep pushing. That's why those things were written. They were written for us to learn and also faith boosting. When you read certain accounts, like we mentioned Daniel and Job, you know, if those brothers were saved and they stayed faithful and true, what more us? You know what I'm saying? Hey, because the scriptures also said, you shall do greater works, man. You know, so if, that, if those deliverances happen to those men, it's possible for us too, man. You know, we're the last candidates for death. You know, we got, and we, we're the last people, we're the last ones who wants dead, man. You know, all these people on earth ain't doing nothing for the Lord, man. We're the only ones. Really, sincerely, it's the elect, man. Only ones truly, uh, really for the Lord, man. You know, and they're going to be delivered. Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. It says, What then Israel have not obtained that which they seeketh for? for the, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Hey, the, hey, the election has obtained it. The 144,000 that were on one third. Lord willing, we're part of that number, man. Hey, they obtained this knowledge with them understanding. But the rest was blinded. Two thirds of our people, those hard headed up. Those hard-headed, knuckle-headed Negroes, man. They ain't get it, man. They, hey, they missed the boat, man. You know? Hey, but the, hey, but the true men of the Lord, hey, they the ones out here on the forefront. The ones out here um, 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 built up in prophecy, man. You know? Letting the warning in the people, man, get the blood off of their hands, man. Being those watchmen. That's, that's, that's the ones who obtained it, man. You know? Those faithful saints. Verse um, 8. Hey, according that is, as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, huh. eyes that they should not see, and ears that they cannot hear, God, unto hey. this day. God, unto this day, man. So that means no matter what you say, no matter what you do, man, you can tap dance your how about you now shine. These uh, knuckleheads won't stop and listen, man. You know, they're not going to pay attention, man, because they got the slumber sleep on them, man. Eyes that they can't hear, hear and uh, I mean, eyes, eyes that they can't see, and ears that they can't hear, man. You know, so no matter what we do out here, man, they're not gonna get it, man. Mm -hmm. You can have a banner with your how about Shima was shy with damn three um, strippers out here, man. They still wouldn't stop this, <laughs> man. You know, because they don't want this, man. They scare, hey, uh, the, what they say, uh, the, the, the name of the Lord is jump among the heathens, man. Yep. Not two thirds of our people, but the heathens. They <laughs> chapter 13 verse 15 for this people's heart wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed least at any time they should they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their hearts and should be converted and I should heal them uh, hey, if they stop, they listen, they pay attention, man. The Heavenly Father will have to heal them, man. Hey, he got to wake them up to this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. But it's not going to happen, man. 
Hey, those two thirds are two thirds for a reason, man. They got the fit prophecy, man. You know, because the heavenly father is bound by his word, man. He's bound by his prophecy, man. Hey, it say two thirds are gonna be cut off and die, man. So right. two thirds gonna be cut off and die. Two thirds not gonna wake up, man. You know, and that's what we know, man. We know that to be fact. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's uh, Matthew chapter seventeen, verse twenty. And your house shall say unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. God, nah, man, hey, we got that faith as a muscle seed, man. Hey, we moving these nations out of the way, man. Hey, these hey, these great nations, man, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, hey, he in fear right now, man. You know, because we got that faith, man. We believe that he's going to go down, man. Hey, we, hey, this word is bringing him down, man. This word is putting fear in his heart, man. You know, and we started to see it, man. You know, hey, when they walk by and they see us out here speaking, man, hey, they know in their spirit that, hey, these brothers own me something, man. Hey, yeah, that's why they doing the doomsday prepping. That's why they going taking their little kids out to the gun range. Because in their spirit, they know that this, this, his rulership is coming to an end, man. And he's going to have to fight for it to hold on to it, man. You know? Uh, you still had Matthew 13. Oh, uh, yeah, I get it. Come on. Uh, that verse 9 because the brother brought out Romans 11 and 7 and uh, Matthew 13 chapter goes perfectly into that uh, start verse 9 by Bishon. this is Matthew chapter 13 and 9 who have ears to hear let them hear and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables yeah because the Lord is speaking in parables bro he's not making it plain uh, in plain English, so to speak, because it's not for the masses, all right? The parables are for uh, the elect to obtain, you know, like it said in uh, Romans 11 and 7, but the rest were blinded because they don't have ears to see. Keep going out. Verse 11, he answered and said unto them, because it is giving unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, so the mysteries of heaven was given unto uh, us, the servants, his prophets, man. That's why it's spoken in parables, you know, and in dark sands. But we have, we had to have uh, a man that the spirit was on to teach us these things, man, you know. So the mystery has been revealed unto uh, uh, his servants, the prophets, and not you people. That's why, you know, the scriptures are in parables. Go ahead, I but to them it is not given, verse 12, for who, for whoever have, have to him have, shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But, who, but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he, ha, that he have. Yeah, so that's basically the point, man. The scriptures are in parables because the mystery of the kingdom has been uh, revealed and to his servants the prophets. And, and these other people are blinded, man. You know, it's just, it's not for them at the end of the day, man. But why continue to misuse the prophets and walk past them and, 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 and not go you know, seek or inquire about these mysteries that have been revealed unto those men? You know, why not? We know why not. Because the Lord has slated you for death from the beginning. All right? And you're not a part of that number. And Lord willing, the men you see before you, and the man, the man behind the camera, Lord willing, we are those men. This is Colossians chapter one, verse twenty-six. Even a mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now it's made manifest to His saints. Hey, it's made manifest to the same. Like I said, man, hey, we know this knowledge with understanding now, man. Hey, we're not going back in darkness again, man. Hey, we're going to stand, hey, we're going to hold firm to this to this truth, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we got something to hope in. We got something to believe in, man. These other people don't have that, man. They lost, man. You know, they don't have a power fighting for them, man. Because the Heavenly Father said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, man. You know, so you don't give a damn about these other people. Man, and two thirds of our people, man. That's why he told um, what is Jeremiah, I don't need to pray for these people, man. You know? This is uh, Amos, just to piggyback off that. Amos chapter 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. 
No, and that's what he's doing, man. Hey, he revealing the secrets unto his servants the prophets, man. Hey, because we servants, man. We out here serving the Havashim Yahweh man. Doing in that reasonable service, man. Hey, doing and doing that righteous uh, service. Hey, that's what everybody should be doing. If you're part of um, Israel, man, if you're black, Native American, or Hispanic, this is your job right here, man. This is what you should be doing. But hey, our people are not gonna do it, man. They're not gonna um, come in that order, man. Come and um, come up on the um, brothers that old um, younger than them, man. You know, hey, it's not about that, man. It's about getting this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. No matter how old you are, no matter what you look like, man. Yeah. Hey, come out here and, and eat this meal, man. Right. You know. This is Daniel chapter twelve, verse nine, and he said, "Go thy way, Daniel." For the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end, because David he didn't even, he couldn't even understand or fully fathom the, these visions that were that were uh, expounded to him through the, through, the, through when, when he's sleeping on the bed, man. That the angels showed unto uh, showed unto Daniel. But now these visions are being shown unto the prophets, man. These secrets that the, that the brothers are mentioning. That's how we know we're at the end. That's a sign of the end. When you see the men, the Hebrew Israelites rise up to the prey, you know, rise up and awake out of out of that dust. You know that you—that's how you know that Yahweh Shai is on the way, man. That Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is about to redeem his people. We're close, man. Verse ten. So I got lost my first part. Daniel chapter twelve, verse nine. He said, "Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end." Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So simply meaning that, hey, whoever's meant to receive this truth is going to get the truth. It's predestined to happen. It's no stopping. You know, it's, it's ordained by the Yahweh Shemal Shai, even before you come out the womb. So, hey, the prophecy is going to be fulfilled, you know, whether you like it or not, whether you want it to or not, hey, it's going to happen, man. You know, and we, and we in those times, bro. No. Uh, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face as such as afflicted him. Uh, hey, we stand in great boldness, man, in front of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the one who afflicted us, man, put us in hardcore slavery, man. Get a um um spared our kids and alligators, man. Did butt break it, man. Hey, we standing in front of you, man, with great boldness, yeah. man. You know? And made no account of his labors. When they when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Uh, hey, when you see black Native American Hispanics getting beamed up on chairs, man, you're gonna get amazing, man. Hey, looking like them, how, how could they be the armed ones, man? How could they be the chosen people of your house by Shinawa Shah, man? You're gonna be in great amazement, man. So far beyond all that they had looked for. And they, repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, shall say within themselves, This was he whom we, whom we had sometimes in derision. Uh, this was he, a nigga, a spit, a wet back. This was him, you know? Hey, this is him going up on the chair. Why not me? Why, hey, why the so called white man ain't going up, man? You know? Why he's standing here left behind, man? You know? He gonna be in, hey, he gonna be in confusion, man. You know, this is this was he whom we sometimes had in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh, and his lot is among the saints? See, hey, his lot among the saints, man. His lot among the hundred and forty-four thousand that one third, man. Hey, those men that was predestined for salvation, man. You know, not, hey, not Esau, Edom, not the Chinese, not the Japanese, man. No, you black, Native American, Hispanic, man. You are the chosen people of your Havashim Yahushua, man. And we coming out here to let you know, man. Hey, it's time to wake up out of that dead state, man. Wake up out of sleep, man, because your salvation drawing nigh, man. You know? Uh, hey, with, hey, with that, man, hey, we're going to uh, give all the praise and all the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat, Bashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hope of the elect. Shalom. 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 Shalom.